How do YouTube? So if you didn't watch my last episode, you're probably wondering what's going on. What is this mess on my garage floor? All valid questions. And on this episode, you will be finding out. So this will probably be part one of maybe five series I'm going to do. And that is a complete garage renovation of my garage. So starting out part one, I am actually going to be doing the garage door insulation. As you can see, this looks pretty ugly. It's nice and yellow. It probably used to be white at one point. And I want to do a brand new insulation, which is like a uh, silver back, almost like a reflective material. So I think that'll be a nice touch. Definitely a lot better than this yellow. And other than that, I do want to paint the surrounding wall that goes around the garage doors black. So yes, the whole garage is getting painted black. I'm doing black walls, black ceiling, and we're ditching the fluorescent lighting. So I'm going straight to LED hex lights. I already got one and the second box should be here later this week. So it's basically going to be 14 foot by eight foot hexagon lights on both bays. So that's kind of the general overview of what I have planned for it, but before we go back into the demolition, I should probably give you guys a uh, grand tour of what it currently looks like. So we have a nasty sink. I would like to get this replaced. They're pretty cheap. Get a black one installed in there. Um, parts cleaner, I could probably just clean this up. That'll be fine. I have a toilet, but it doesn't work. So it's kind of cool. I have a bathroom in my garage, but Again, we need like a $150, $200 toilet. Swap that out. No big deal. Um, messy over here. This all has to get reorganized and cleaned up. Bench, absolute mess. Walls are filthy, so I'm going to have to scrub all the walls before I add any paint to it. We have another section of burnt out lighting. Fortunately for me, these ones are not recessed into the drywall, so that will be easy uh, paint over and add lights to a job. A dapper toolbox, which I could definitely clean up a little bit. A old Craftsman toolbox. This is kind of my uh, miscellaneous toolbox. This section of the garage could definitely use some improvement as well. I just have a basic shelf holding all my uh, paint supplies up. A bench polisher, some uh, door jam tape. All this will get cleaned up. I don't, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this corner yet, but uh, it's definitely got potential. All my detailing supplies. Uh, old car parts I'll probably never use, so a lot of this will probably just get thrown away. 118 never lose. I got my 30 year old air compressor, which I'm still surprised this thing works. I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna have to remove this and pull it out to be able to paint behind here, but we'll see. Hopefully not because this thing is like hardwired in. It is bolted to the ground, so I will have to like use a jack, pull it out, and basically uh, remove this whole air dryer system I have going on. Another shelf straight from the Martha Stewart collection. Don't really need that. Lastly, I got this gaping hole with SpongeBob plugged into it. And if you guys are wondering what the hell this is, it's from my swamp cooler. So if you don't know what a swamp cooler is, you probably don't live on the West Coast. It's kind of a primitive air conditioning system and it uses like a uh, tank of water at the bottom to be able to pump cooler air through the system. If you live somewhere humid, you definitely do not want that. So I live in Arizona, barely any humidity ever. So swamp cooler is actually pretty good in here. But uh, to clean that up, basically I just gotta go through the plastic ventilation that goes over that, paint that black, and it'll pretty much be uh, camouflaged into the wall. All right, now that you guys are up to speed on where my garage is going, what it currently looks like, let's get back to the demolition. I'm gonna pull off the rest of the old insulation and clean off the windows. From there, I'm gonna head to Home Depot, hopefully they have the insulation in stock, and hopefully get this all knocked out this weekend. So let's get into it.
right guys, at the halfway mark, I got three sections of the garage door done out of the six. I have two of these left, which each sheet will get me one section of the garage door. So that means I'm gonna have to make another trip to Home Depot, buy one more sheet, and I'll be able to finish this. So instead of putting you guys on another time lapse, I'm just gonna fast forward and And voila, we're done with the garage door insulation. So uh, that took me a few days. Honestly, that took me a few days to knock all that out. It is kind of tedious. But uh, yeah, I think this looks way better. We're looking like we're inside of a freaking refrigerated unit or something. But once I paint all the walls black, I think it'll be a nice contrast from the black and silver rather than having the white. So next thing in order, I'm going to clean all the walls around because right now I do have like spider webs and shit showing right here. So Clean the balls and I'm going to try to knock out uh, the rest of the paint today for this wall at least. Got my little cabinet pulled out and there must have been some type of a species living inside of it because that's ridiculous. My god. So we finally move on to paint and what I'm using is going to be this bare uh, paint primer I got from Home Depot, about 35-ish bucks per gallon. It's uh, black, the paint coat is black. We got satin and it's an uh, interior, so let's get into it. Let's get this mixed up and start laying uh, some black onto the walls. So that's going to conclude part one of this build series. So I got the insulation all knocked out. I think it looks a lot better than what I had before, which is this nasty yellow stuff. Painted the surrounding wall black. Good start on uh, the overall paint of this. It's going to be a lot of paint that I have to do left in here, but a humble start. And I also got this uh, cabinet all cleaned up before it was all filthy, a bunch of dust all over it. There was a marsupial living in the bottom. Kicked out that guy, no more tenon than that. Uh, threw away a bunch of stuff I don't need, so we actually have a little bit of space left over in here. And uh, if you guys want to keep watching this build series and see part two, three, four, whatever is going to come after this, make sure you subscribe. So, till next time, guys, thanks for watching.